Um, yeah, it's this is the reason you do course tours because it doesn't look this steep on uh, on TV. So that's a lot of downhill. Certainly something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, beautiful day for it. Feeling good so far. All right, five k in, buddy. All right, buddy, that was uh, five to 10K. How was that section? Well, I got worried that I was on the wrong part of the course because I was able to go to sleep on it because it's just you know, gently rolling, you find your rhythm. So yeah, I mean, I think it's gonna be a part of the course to try to conserve energy a little bit, just tuck in and then you know, prepare for the hills later on in the course. Which we'll see soon. Yes. All right, buddy. What was uh, 10 to 15 like? More of the same, just cruising. Nice, easy running, a little, little bit more town and stuff. Stuff to look at, I guess. But uh, yeah, this part of the course, I think it's just find your rhythm, go to sleep, and then uh, yeah, be ready to race later on. Yeah, very pleasant. All right, well, we're going to be heading up towards Wesley, but unfortunately, it won't be uh, lined with all the girls. So no you're, you're okay with it? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe from you. <laughs> There we go, mate. You're still smiling. Yeah. All right, so we're at uh, around 15 miles or about 15.3 miles to be precise. Uh, go through the last section from uh, from 15K through to here. Yeah, I mean, it was not like there was more people in the course, but just, I don't know, it just gets a little bit busier, a little more traffic, a little more buildings. Just started cruising, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm running pretty fast right now and it doesn't really feel like I have been, just the, I know, the energy, it feels like things are kind of tightening up a little bit, just like how much busier it's getting, you feel like you're prepping for something, so, yeah. Um, Course itself, still relatively flat, you haven't hit it. Yeah, it's been, that. you know, nice and rolling. I kind of like that piney section through Wellesley, but, you know, nothing, nothing particularly challenging yet. Um, yeah, I know that's about to change. Yeah, all right, on to the next one. Good work, buddy. Coming up to 20. Top of half break hill here. How are you uh, feeling? It's no joke. Uh, yeah, you know, finally the hills are starting to, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going over two hours, so I think it's starting to feel a little bit, plus got a little, little wet out here. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, Mary Kate was right. Like, it's time to recover in between the hills. So it's not, it's not just that one after another, like, slamming you all the time that I was expecting. So, um, you yeah. know, this is why it's a racist course. Yeah. Yep. Lots of places to make up time, that sort of thing, so. Uh, yeah. Is there anything in the last 10 miles that was significantly harder than what you thought? No, if anything, it was it was easier. Like that overpass hill, it's gradual, but then like, it's got a long time to recover. And then like, there's a stinging hill, but then a long time to recover. So I, you know, I mean, obviously that was, yeah, that's, that's no joke and it. Race pace is gonna feel even worse, but compared to how bad I thought it could be, like I was mentally preparing myself, um, you know, I think it's manageable. All right, well, six miles to go, buddy. Call, call me on that in five weeks, but. <laughs> there you go, bud. All right, we are just about a mile away from the finish, the famous Sitco sign. How have you found the section over the last uh, four miles to here? It's more downhill than I thought it was going to be. I feel like yeah, if you can get through heartbreak with just something left, then you can really, really punish some people. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I really got into a rhythm coming off that hill. Like, I wasn't feeling that great at like 20, but I've since then, like, been able to get it rolling so yeah i like the second half of this course yeah it's a little more interesting too i like the city so yeah it's good feeling Perfect. good all right see you at the finish all right buddy there's the oh, course there's the there finish line the finish <laughs> line that we didn't see yesterday all right quick review how was it good i'm very glad i came out to do a course tour that was uh it's a lot more technical. I mean, I always heard it's a technical course, but it was a lot more technical than I thought. A lot more opportunities to like, you know, get sneaky, you know? I think, um, yeah, it's a racer's course. It's gonna be tough. And I don't know, I like that. It means uh, 
you know, it's not gonna be a time trial thing. You're gonna be able to, uh, if you can, I know, be smart, be tactical on the day, you can come up and surprise some people. So, All right, so good. we're five weeks away. What are you gonna do in your training now that'll have you even better prepared coming in? We're gonna hit some more hills. So we're gonna go home, we're gonna hit Magnolia Road a bunch. Um, hope there won't be any snow on it. Get a couple of Pelly Farms in there, get tough. Um, you know, Gate River last week did not go particularly well. So we got one more race coming up. Hopefully get a little more racing legs underneath me. Um, and then yeah, get, get some sleep and sharpen up. All right. Well, thank you to uh, Mary Kate and the Boston Athletic Association for letting us come out and do a course preview. Boston strong, baby. All right, back to Boulder we go.